So I got a fridge off a truck from a guy that does that type of stuff. And as you can see, you know, this fridge is not in the best condition, but we got an excellent price for it over, you know, over $1,500 off. So with our new storage, we were able to buy little Billy Boy. And today I went down to a live poultry market in New York City and picked out my own little goat. And then we cut him up and put him in a bag. So I uh, got, you know, that, not a happy ending, but this fridge is a happy ending. So, uh, you know, I cut everything up. I'm just gonna show you guys how I organize it in my fridge. And, I, and this was maybe like two hours worth of work uh, for this whole lamb. Uh, it costed $270 for a 60 pound lamb, which is roughly, it ends up being like $8 a pound per pound of meat, not including the organs. So the, so the reason I've been doing this lately is because I have a histamine intolerance and it, it ended up being that. I need to buy super duper fresh meat in order to follow this diet and in order to not have an insomnia pretty much. So, so I didn't have enough racks to put all the meat on its own rack so I kind of had to stack it. And what I did was I placed down uh, some linen towels and I put the racks over it and then I put the meat on top. Like up here is one, up here is one half of a shoulder joint up here is two parts of another shoulder joint. Here's a part of the, here's one of the back legs. I'm gonna flip these over too. So they dry out on the outside. One of the, one of the rib sides. This is the, um, this is the belly and the lamb chops on that side. And you can't really see on the bottom here, but on the bottom here is, is every, we have, we, we've seen all this before. It's another, it's the other rib chop side. The other lamb chop side and the other leg. So we have every part of the lamp in here besides one of the shoulders, which I ate already, and uh, the vertebral column, which I have in a stew upstairs, which I can go show you after. And here's the head. Uh, we're probably going to boil this down in a pot. I'm really doing nose to tail, guys. I used to just eat the, uh, eat the brains out of the head. Ah, smell of blood in the morning. Here is a... Uh, Big shout out to Derek Nance for commenting on my channel and giving me some tips. The jar is a, the jars are a great idea. Uh, here's the liver, roughly about, we had about a pound and a half of liver. This is the brain. Uh, in this jar, I actually put, I think I put the heart. Wait, what is this? This is the heart, the kidneys, and the spleen. These are the lungs. Testicles, and then in the back here, we got a jar of strained blood that doesn't have the fibrin in it. And then this is the, the jar of the fibrin in the blood that separated. And then we have the stomach, the sheep's stomach. Uh, the intestines I got rid of because I have no use for them. This stomach, I might think of cooking it, but it's, I think it's going to smell too bad to cook it, to be honest. Uh, so that's everything I have. You know, roughly, I'm assuming 20, 30, 25, 30 pounds of meat, maybe a couple pounds of organs in total. Hopefully everything stays fresh for a couple weeks here. Maybe two weeks, we could probably get through this. It's, these are just some burgers that I can't eat because of histamine tolerance. Just uh, grass-fed four-ounce patties from Wonder Meats. This is the vertebral column. Uh, all the vertebrae, the spinal cord and everything. Boiled it down for five hours yesterday. I can get the meat off of it now. I'll probably eat this later. I had a very hard time getting that guy to get, collect the blood. I literally brought him a bucket and everything. And it's just because it's illegal to sell blood in New York from lamb. But you, what you can do is... I mean, they can technically, like, I'm not technically buying it because I'm purchasing the lamb. I'm not purchasing the blood. They're just collecting the blood. They just didn't want to do it, but eventually they did. You know, this, this was a very lean animal. And one interesting thing is various indigenous groups did only consume lean animals. And then they got their energy in other ways. So, and, and they cooked the meat. So, I, I don't think that having super fatty meat and super fatty beef is necessary. Especially in the context of eating the organs of the animal where we can get, you know, we can get some fat from the brain, we can get, I mean, I guess there isn't too much fatty tissue on this animal in general, but there's certainly enough vitamins and calories just to sustain someone for a very long period of time. Uh, possibly also part of the reason that we see 
a lot of indigenous groups have leaner physiques, whereas a lot of zero carb people tend not to be too lean. You know, the body's meant to subsist on a much lower caloric amount than people think it is, uh, for the most part. You just have to adjust to it. There's a video of me tasting most of those organs at once and a haunch of meat, where we're like celebrating the kill. I did a video on the blood, the eyeballs. Uh, we're gonna do a video on maybe probably a couple other things related to this lamb. It's all I'm gonna be eating for the next two or three weeks. And then we're gonna go to Pennsylvania and pick up a hopefully fattier lamb. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to support me, hey, above all, share the video. Uh, if you guys would like to uh, support my social media, check out my social media. Hey, Joe Rogan followed me the other day on Twitter, so maybe you guys should follow me too. I'm gonna be on the carnivore cast soon, and I'm debating vegan gains tomorrow, so I don't know if he's live If he's not live streaming it, that might not be a good idea to do it actually, because I think he does live stream it though. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Overall, you know, this wasn't a lot of work. Uh, for sh I mean, maybe two hours max total for the whole... I mean, the, the animal took 35 minutes, and then the rest of the stuff took about an hour and 15. Pro I mean, I would never do this unless you had a histamine intolerance, because I was... When I was eating last night, I was wishing I had a try and trip by in front of me. But anyway, uh, that's it, guys. Let me know what other videos you would like to see in the near future. I got a list I'm working on uh, right now. Forgot to mention, I might do like a Maasai diet for a couple weeks if I can get my hands on some more blood and some goat milk. But don't hold your breath, guys. Uh, might be difficult for me to get this guy to sell me the blood uh, once a week.